Hey everyone, in today's video, I will be swatching all the colors that use the pigment PBR7. So we have raw umber, burnt umber, German greenish raw umber, Pompeii red, Monte Amiata natural sienna, raw sienna, Italian burnt sienna, and burnt sienna. So these are all the so-called earth colors. They're mostly used for mixing, but I guess you can use them on their own as well. The ones that I use most often would be Burnt Sienna and Monte Amiata Natural Sienna and Raw Sienna interchangeably and Burnt Sienna. So I don't use Raw Umber, um, Pompeii Red and Italian Burnt Sienna. Sometimes I do use this but not that often. Alright, let's swatch them. So this is Raw Umber, a color that I do not use. By the way, if you use any of these eight colors for mixing, for painting, let me know in the comment section what um, you use them for, what type of subjects you paint with, with these eight colors. So raw umber on the left looks like a pretty dark earth color. And this is burnt umber. And these two colors, they are very transparent. So this is the color that I use very often to uh, mix with blues to produce the really uh, dark value blacks or dark value colors. And here we have German greenish raw umber. This is actually the first time I'm using this color. Hence this tube, it's new. And this is German greenish raw umber. So it definitely looks a bit greenish, but it's a very dull green. And it has a lot of um, binder in this, so it feels a bit sticky. So this color is very transparent and the tinting strength doesn't look very high. So if you want it to be intense you need to use a lot of paint and this is Pompeii red kind of looks like burnt sienna and it looks granulating again this is not a color that I use very often Monte Amiata natural sienna is a muted earth color, a muted yellow. This color together with raw sienna, these are the two colors that I use quite often for mixing skin tones. Now earth colors, they are actually quite convenient for mixing skin tones and painting tree trunks and for neutralizing other colors. And this is raw sienna. It's less yellow compared to Monte Amiata natural sienna. This is a lovely color for mixing skin tones. Burnt Sienna is probably one of the most popular colors in palettes other than primary colors. I use up this color very quickly. I use it mostly to mix with ultramarine to produce grays, very beautiful granulating grays. And lastly, we have Italian Burnt Sienna. So this looks like the um, this looks more reddish and this looks more brown. It's really interesting to see how many different color variations you can get with one single pigment. And many of these colors they look different. Pompeii red looks kind of like Italian burnt sienna, but this is a bit more reddish. But if I were to put them side by side without any labels, I probably won't be able to tell them apart. Raw umber looks like German greenish raw umber, except this is slightly uh, greenish. These two are great for mixing really dark values. And Monte Amiata Natural Sienna, I think this is probably uh, very visibly yellow compared to the rest of the PBR 7s and raw sienna, really nice color. I have it in my palette actually. 
that's here I use it very often and burnt sienna as well another one of my frequently used colors all right let's do some very quick color mixes and see what we can get with some of the earth colors some of the PBR7 this is raw amber and I'm going to mix it with a blue ultramarine so you can see raw amber itself it's really dark when using concentration so this is a nice neutralized color let's compare this with burnt umber and this is burnt umber mixed with ultramarine Let's compare burnt sienna with Italian burnt sienna when mixed with ultramarine. And this is Pompeii red with ultramarine. Monte Amiata Natural Sienna with Crinocridon Red Raw Sienna with Crinocridon Red and since Monte Amiata Natural Sienna is so yellowish I wonder what we, what will we get when we mix it with a blue yellow and blue should give us a green So this is a very muted green. All the mixes have dried very nicely. Let's take a closer look at raw and burnt umber. By comparison, burnt umber seems to be slightly warmer. Now both can produce very beautiful granulating grays. Burnt sienna, Italian burnt sienna and Pompeii red. Now these two definitely looks kind of similar. For burnt sienna and Italian burnt sienna, I do see a hint of violet or purple in this mix here, but not so here. The reason for that is probably because burnt sienna is a bit more reddish. Monte Amiata Natural Sienna, we have Quintacridon Red PV19. And this is raw sienna with PV19. Very lovely color. And this is Monte Amiata Natural Sienna with Ultramarine. This is a very nice neutralized green. I like this. Earth colors are convenient colors for mixing and for neutralizing other colors. So out of the eight, my favorites are Burnt Sienna, Monte Amiata Natural Sienna, Raw Sienna and Burnt Umber. Let me know in the comment section below which ones you use and what subjects you typically paint with them. I would love to find out from you. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, before you go, I'm selling off some excess watercolor paint to make space to get more colors to test and also to make more videos like this. So if you are interested to get some colors, some paint from me, check out the list of colors that I'm selling from the video description below. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye.